Let me ask you something. How many emails do you get every single day that are just noise, spam, low priority stuff, or messages you've answered a hundred times before? It's overwhelming, right? And let's be real. Email is still the backbone of communication for businesses. It's where leads come in, where support questions pile up, and sometimes where productivity goes to die. Now, imagine this. What if A, I could read those emails for you, instantly sort them into neat categories, and even draft professional replies, all before you open your inbox? That's exactly what we're building today. An AI email assistant powered by MGX. And here's the best part. You won't have to write a single line of code yourself because MGX does the heavy lifting. Now, if you've never seen MGX before, let me explain why this is such a game changer. MGX isn't just one AI agent. It's like having a full software team on demand. You've got a team leader, a product manager, a system architect, an engineer, and even a researcher, all working together to turn your idea into working software. So instead of spending hours setting up APIs, writing back-end logic, and debugging front-end code, you just describe your idea in plain English, and the agents collaborate to do the rest. And MGX recently got two big upgrades. First is race mode. Instead of one model working alone, multiple large language models run at the same time. And then either MGX picks the best result for you, or you can choose the one you like most. That way it's not just faster, it's smarter too. And second is Iris, a specialized research agent. Iris doesn't just generate text. She analyzes, she digs deeper. She brings context. For our project, Iris is going to be the one deciding, is this email a support ticket, a sales lead, or just spam we can ignore? So here's the project we're building together today. We're creating an AI email assistant that will connect to Gmail and fetch new messages, classify them into categories, support requests, sales leads, or spam, generate draft replies automatically, and finally give us a clean web dashboard where we can review emails, approve replies, or send them with a single click. In short, this is your inbox on autopilot, a tool that could easily save hours every week. All right, let's set this up in MGX. Here's the dashboard. Instead of writing code files or wiring APIs manually, I'm just gonna type out a natural language request. Watch this and I'll paste in. Build me an AI email assistant that connects to Gmail, classifies emails into support, sales, or spam, generates draft replies, provides a web dashboard for review, and can send the draft replies back to the recipient. You may use the Grok API for AI-generated text. That's it. No boilerplate, no config files, no hunting for SDKs. And this is where the magic starts. Behind the scenes, the MGX agents are spinning up. The product manager, Emma, is creating a requirements document. The architect, Bob, is sketching out the database schema. Iris, our researcher, is figuring out the logic for classification. And the engineer, Alex, is starting to generate code for Gmail integration, the classifier, and the dashboard. And because we're in race mode, all of this is happening at once, just like you'd see in a real software sprint. Now, let's actually watch them do their thing. First, Iris does the deep research for analyzing email classification. For example, she'll decide that a message saying, I need help resetting my password should be tagged as support. Something like, I'd love to discuss your product pricing is a sales lead. And emails with words like free crypto airdrop or congratulations, you've won? That's spam. Meanwhile, the product manager is laying out all the features. Fetch Gmail, run classification, draft replies, log everything, and display it in a dashboard. And the engineer is building the actual functions. The Gmail connector, the classifier, the draft reply generator, and the front-end dashboard, all happening in parallel. It honestly feels like watching a team of developers working live. All right, here's what MGX gave us. They provided the Gmail connector, which basically handles the authentication and automatically fetches the most recent emails for us. Along with that, they also included a readme file that walks us through setting up the Gmail API. The flow goes like this. First, we create a Google Cloud project by heading over to the Google Cloud console, either making a new project or selecting an existing one, and making sure billing is turned on since it's required for Gmail API access. Then we enable the Gmail API itself by navigating to APIs and services, opening the library, searching for Gmail API and enabling it. 
After that comes the OAuth2 credentials. This is where we go into the credentials section, create new credentials as an OAuth client ID, and if prompted, configure the consent screen by choosing the external type, filling in the basic details, like the app name and support email, and adding our own email as a test user. For the application type, we select web application, then add the authorized redirect URIs, which usually means HTTP localhost callback for local development, or your production domain's callback URL for live use. Once that's done, we hit create, and we'll get the client ID and client secret. Finally, in the AI email assistant dashboard, we plug in those credentials, generate an authorization URL, follow the link to authorize the app, grab the authorization code from the callback, paste it back into the setup, and connect to Gmail. And that's the setup flow MGX provided us. Then the classification logic. Iris wrote out rules plus an AI model call that tags each email as support, sales, or spam. Next, the auto reply generator. This uses an AI prompt template to write polite context-aware replies. For example, a support email might get, hi there, thanks for reaching out. Here's how you can reset your password. While a sales inquiry gets a friendly, more persuasive tone. And finally, the dashboard. It's clean, simple, and functional. You can log in, browse emails, see what category they landed in, read the AI's draft reply, and either approve it, edit it, or hit send. And of course, like with any real build, there's that behind the scenes, part of fixing bugs, tweaking prompts, cleaning up edge cases, and making sure the system runs smoothly day to day. It's not just the big features, it's also ironing out the little quirks, tightening the workflow, and polishing everything so it actually feels reliable when you use it. Now comes the fun part, testing. Let's send in a fake support email. Hi, I can't log into my account. Can you help me reset my password? And there it is, instantly categorized as support with a ready to send draft reply. Now, let's try a sales inquiry. Hey, I'm interested in partnering with your company. Do you have pricing details? Boom, labeled as sales in the AI, has written a friendly draft response, suggesting a call. And now, let's send some junk. You've won $10 million. Click here to claim your prize, flagged as spam, and moved out of the way. That's three completely different scenarios handled automatically. And remember, I didn't write a single line of code. MGX built this for me end to end. So let's take a step back. In just a few minutes, we built an AI-powered email assistant. It connects to Gmail, classifies incoming messages, generates intelligent replies, and gives us a dashboard to manage it all. Normally, a project like this would take a team of developers days, maybe weeks to design code and debug. But with MGX, I just described what I wanted, and the AI agents handled the rest. And this is just one example. You could use the same workflow to build customer support bots, automated research dashboards, social media assistants, or even full SS products. If you want to try MGX for yourself, check the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this walkthrough, let me know in the comments. What AI-powered tool would you build with MGX? We'll be exploring more AI tools that can help us developers, so make sure to subscribe for more. Well, that's it for now, Novus. Thank you for watching.